Hello and welcome to the sound. Yeah. I welcome <laughs> Kyle Walls and Evelyn Holland. So, Kyle, why don't you tell us a little bit about your music real quick here? Yeah, sure. Uh, I have a new album, Blood Candy. Uh, released that in February. And starting in February of 2020, I did a music video each month leading up to that release. And that's pretty cool. And actually uh, getting a few plays on Spotify, you know, for, for what I do, you know, just a, you know, a few handfuls of plays, you know, that that's that's getting it somewhere. Uh, but you can find it on Amazon, iTunes, uh, Google Play or Google Music, whatever it's called now. And, um, and you know, Spotify, of course. So that's that's cool to get some more music out there. Yeah, I love making music. I've been so busy, I haven't really spent much time writing in the last few months. But that's it's coming. It's coming. I can feel it starting to bubble up. Um, yeah. And also today, with me, Evelyn Holland, musician, singer. How you doing? I'm good. Um, just in, kind of j enjoying my day off. Uh, I got band practice later. Uh, as far as new music goes, I've been steadfastly working on the third record, and I just started a new song a couple days ago. Um, and then I made this, or I created this keyboard and interlude, or maybe an intro, I'm not sure yet. I'm trying to produce a uh, better quality with this third record, um, considering I'm doing everything. Uh, and it's it's definitely more focused than Overlooking the Forgotten, which, re which was re released in January uh, for anybody that's curious. Uh, uh, so, yeah. And what's your website so everybody can find it? Oh, well, it's uh, keysofsolomon.bandcamp.com. And there's uh, the first couple records, and there's a few extra goodies that are band camp only. Oh, yeah. Cool. Goodies are good. I like goodies. All right. Well, guys, today is a special day. It was actually technically yesterday, but um, we're just going to celebrate it today because I was off yesterday. Um, the channel, Matthew's Music Lesson Studio, has cracked 20,000 subscribers. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, a little milestone, so I'm happy cool. about that. And this one is Munajatku. Oh, wow, I have no idea how to say that. It's an Elite <laughs> Bata original. Yeah. Okay, you guys all got that one ready? I was, I would have butchered that uh pronunciation probably too copy monocopy everybody we got the we get the blurry coffee this time it's not quite disappearing <laughs> it just gets blurry and then and and then yeah. doesn't okay so um are you having coffee i'm having cold brew here yeah the leaf of coffee and yeah, cold brew mm. i had a yerba this, this morning so i'm good so have either of you guys heard this uh a leap original yet not this one okay how about you eve I I haven't. Everybody ready for Ali Bata's uh, original song? Ready for this. Okay, I'm going to try to say this one more time. Munajatku. 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 Was, was that close? Salam, all my <laughs> leapers. Health, yeah. long Let life, know. <laughs> coffee, yeah. enjoy. And so, without further ado, Musicians Panel reacts to Alip Bata's original song, Munajatku. Here we go.
That's nice. That was fun. I, I'm so beautiful. Such a and and somebody said in the chat that he wrote that for his daughter. That it's appropriate. Man, all those behind the nut harmonic bends, just so many of them, and they're just so pretty. Like his melody, you know, a full two octaves above the rest of the accompaniment, just shining, and um, it was you know so mellow. Just, just like, and then I love that one part, ah, the, the chords, the melody chords went in like this, to what I would call it like a beatily kind of direction. And then, but then he went, and then he went up after, oh man, harmonically, that was just so impressive. Like, I'm not Rise saying, I, I, yeah, I'm not saying he was sitting there like, hmm, which chord should I do next? You know, it was just, the, the flow was gorgeous. But like, instead of just like, either like, repeating that descending thing maybe which you could do or like just going back to like a more like original thing he finished the idea by adding that whole second half to it and yeah. it just that tripled the beauty of that bridge i just oh man all right what do you guys think man that was incredible yeah well um you said something about steve morse and, and that got me thinking too and i was hearing some extreme yeah and, and like um yeah, more than words too. Yeah, the, some of those chord choices and things. Uh, I, I was really paying attention to the melody and, uh, you know, harmonics he was hitting off the chord. Um, it, what, was he hitting a double octave or the five? Because I was uh -oh. looking, he was around the 19th fret, and I was thinking, it's like, well, I haven't played harmonics there. I was trying to think where the other, you know, complementary harmonic is. Off the, the 19th, 19th fret, fret. fret harmonic think is the same as the 7th fret harmonic. Okay, so I was thinking yep. it was the 5th. So, yeah, so playing the, you know, hitting those different, um, you know, melody notes off the chords, that that was that was really a smart way to do it. And what you said, that kind of Blackbird-esque uh, chromatic walk down with the chords, that was really cool. And that reminds me of a song I'm going to share with you sometime of an old St. Louis band back from the uh, classic rock days, Pavlov's Dog, I think. No, Mama's Pride, Mama's Pride. Uh, but anyway, um, I really enjoy the melody. That was mm -hmm. something uh, he used repetition well. And like Matthew pointed out, changing up the chords a little bit to add a little surprise to the melody, to add a little interest. Looking at his time, he's right at that Nashville standard of like three minutes for a song, mm -hmm. you know, just a little bit quicker. Um, and and I liked it. I mean, it wasn't as busy as some of his cover arrangements but you know that makes sense he's wrote this for his daughter he's trying to channel some sort of memories pay uh you know make something special and when you're doing it you don't want a song that's like overly busy with too many things going on so that, yeah this was really nice to listen to i really enjoyed it let's get some more thoughts from you eve what do you think i i i liked it it was very subdued um compared to the the covers mm -hmm. um and it was very uh uh i i don't know it, it definitely represented the love for his daughter i feel like um and uh yeah i mean like the 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 harmonic overtones and between that and then uh like i said earlier steve the steve morse uh um vibe that i was getting like some of his like solo guitar stuff mm -hmm. uh kind of reminds me of the uh this instrumental yeah i i really love just a leap style in general like it's it's you know he's created this style that just it weaves through all the different things we've heard and you know, of course, there's incredible variants. I mean, you know, Hotel California sounds way different than that that we just listened to, or Sweet Child of Mine, or you know, whatever. I'm not trying to say all his stuff sounds the same. I'm saying in a, more than that, he's taken and he's created this overall sound. Like to me, like I would say, you know, the greatest bands 
the greatest artists, they do that. They create that sound. Like, you know, like say Prince had that sound. Like you could yeah. just tell it was Prince. You know what I mean? It didn't take more than a couple of bars usually. Even on some of his obscure tracks, you could tell. Or Michael Jackson or Insert, right? You know, whoever. To me, Dream Theater, right? I can tell if it's Dream Theater in, in 30 seconds usually. There's other bands that sound somewhat like them, and I've been fooled a couple of times. But usually it's that sound. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I can tell, ooh, I haven't heard this one yet. It's That's my band. And Aleep, he has that. He has that sound. He's created for himself, and I just love it. I love it. You know, I'm trying to do that from, from my music, trying to create a sound that weaves through the covers, weaves through the collabs, weaves through the original music, right? And then people can say, oh, yeah, that's Matthew. I get that. So, I mean, uh, maybe someday I'll get there. I don't know. I'm <laughs> certainly not there yet. Well, that's but, uh, what, you know, all, all us songwriters, we, we always kind of strive for that. And Yep. I always look at it, you know, um, the, the ocean of music is way too big for people that go, oh, hey, that's a Kyle Walls tune. I just want people to hear my music and think, wow, that sounds a little different. That's not what I expected to hear in a song, you know, and, and trying to hopefully that's a stepping stone. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm just talking but, about within the people on YouTube. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like, you know. I, I I wouldn't say for your instrumental you know intros or anything I could pick you out yet, but there's there, there's certain things right I could pick out your voice I bet, yeah. you know right and that's yeah. cool man that's really cool so let's talk here about you guys I really appreciate you being here go over to Evelyn Holland's channel there's links in the description she's gonna be uh, on the rebroadcast everything's gonna be on her channel check it out. Um, she, Evelyn Holland's a great musician and songwriter and you can check out the Keys of Solomon and she's got new stuff in the works also check out Kyle Walls Kyle Walls YouTube channel broke 9,000 subscribers I'm looking forward to announcing your 10k day that's coming soon yeah. everybody make sure you go over and add to the party and subscribe to Kyle Walls check out KyleWalls.com and our Kyle arr, Walls on Instagram arr. <laughs> and of course, you guys, like I said at the beginning, yesterday uh, was the day that I hit and passed 20,000 subscribers. Awesome. Thank you so much, all of you, for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please do so now if you have not. Um, more than 85% of my views are not for subscribed people. So I know somebody hearing this has not mashed the button yet. So please go ahead, subscribe to my channel. Also, guys, check me out online, patreon.com slash Matthews Music Lesson Studio, where you can support the channel. Your requests get much faster. If you go there and request it there, you'll bypass weeks and weeks of waiting i'm telling you i do take all your requests seriously the chat requests the comment requests so go ahead and do them and music lessons at matthews music lesson studio.com that's right where you get to record the lessons from me and keep them voice saxophone guitar ukulele and record your lessons keep them on your device forever matthews music lesson studio.com like share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys all next time on The Sound. See you guys. Live. Yep. Have a good day, everyone. <laughs>